Hi, my name is David. I'm with the North Harris County Dulcimer Society and I am the music director, which my job is to bring songs in and keep the songs for the club. I like to bring in uh, songs that the club doesn't play very often and this is one of them. It's called Cindy, or Get Along Home Cindy. Y'all probably remember this from your elementary days. It's a real cute little song, real easy to play, and we'll get to it right now. Okay, this is my mountain dulcimer. It is a six-string, double-stringed, or three strings. Uh, most dulcimers are either three-string or four-string, with the double string on the melody string. What we're going to learn here is the tablature or notation for Cindy. If you got the notation and the tablature that I, got, I put in the newsletter for you, you're going to know that there are quarter notes, eighth notes, and half notes. What I want you to do is to not play anything on an upbeat. In other words, all your eighth notes, you will play the first note in the eighth note double, not the second. Look on your tablature in your first measure. You will see that it shows 8, 9, 11, 11, 11, 11, 12. What you're going to be playing is 8, 9, 11, 11, 12. This is how you break down the song so it makes it easier to play and easier to understand. If you're using notation on this, the notes are like this. E, F sharp, A, 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 B. What you want to do to simplify this so it's easier to play and to learn, and you can always, we'll add these notations and tablatures later, but right now this is how we're going to do it. You want to go with E, F sharp, A, A, B. For instance, 8, 9, 11, 11, 12. It'll sound like this. Okay, that's your first measure. Let's play it one more time so you can understand it. Your second measure has a half note in it. It's 11, 9, and you'll just play the 7, not the 7, 8. So it's a... Remember to hold that 9 or the F sharp just a little longer. Okay. Your third measure is nine, nine, eight, seven. Like this. Nine, nine, eight, seven. Okay. Your fourth measure is all quarter notes, and it is nine, 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 eight. And then we're going to go back to similar notes on um, the first measure that you had, which is 9, 11, 11, 12. And again, in your second measure, your fifth is about the same. Okay, so you'll go 11, 9, 7. Your sixth measure is a little bit different. It goes 9, 7, 8, 6 and a half. So it will be 9, 7, 8. And the last measure <clears throat> which is your seventh, is seven, 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 eight. You'll play seven, 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 and back to the repeat. So it will sound like this. Are you ready? All right. Well, play it slow. Sorry. That's not right.
Okay, now to play the song, I will play it using my index finger very slowly so you can see how it is played on the, for the first uh, part of the song, the A part. I will not repeat it at this time. up a little bit there but I think you get the drift. The B part is started with this. You will see a 7, 7, 9, 7. That's dropping out the, the upbeat. So it is 7, 7, And that enters you into the B part. The B part goes like this. You will see five, 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 four. Okay. The next measure is five, seven, nine, seven. The next measure is five, seven, nine, seven. So it goes. Sorry, I messed it up that time, but I'm doing it again. So let's do it one more time. Your next measure is four, 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 five. Your next measure will be four, seven, nine, seven. Okay. And then you go back to the next measure, and it looks like the measure you just played a little while ago. Five, 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 four. Okay. Your next measure has a 5, 7, which is a half note, and an 8. So you will go, and you'll hold that 7. Just a second longer. One more time. Then you have 9, 9, 8, 6 and a half. Again. Nine, nine, eight, six and a half. And then your last measure. Seven, seven, nine, seven. So this is how your B part will sound. I think you get the gist of it. Now, let's go back and put in all the quarter notes, all the eighth notes, and see what it sounds like. Now this time I'm going to play it without using my index finger. Okay, now I'm going to play the song using my, my regular style. Uh, I might embellish a little bit, but I think you'll understand what the song sounds like. So here is Cindy.
but that's how you play the song. And that's how you play it in the upper octave on the D. If you want to play harmony, you will play it this way. y'all and hope to see you at the club meeting this coming Saturday on the third Saturday of the week. Thank you and enjoy the song. Hi David again with the North Harris County Dulcimer Society. What I'm going to do here is do a little song call soon. I've got to get the lyrics over here so I know them. I don't know them that well believe it or not. And I'm going to play a little song for you. It's called Cindy. I might even sing a bit.
Sí, este cuadro es muy bien. 